Well, here we have another example. This is Artifacts of Mars. Here we have another example of government gone completely insane. A hiker posted some photos on Facebook of a keg party on top of Phelps Mountain over Columbus Day weekend. And he's been ticketed by the State Department of Environmental Conservation. Raja Bhatt of Queens was ticketed for allegedly taking part in a day use group with no more than, with more than 15 people legal in it for a hike in the high peaks of the wilderness area. Bott, who was 32, said he didn't organize a hike or the keg party. I was simply on the summit with some friends and some friend of a friend brought a keg. He said. Bot posted photos on his Facebook page showing a large group of people on the 4,161 foot summit. In one image, a woman was held upside down while drinking from the tap. The photos were shared on the Aspiring 46ers and Adirondack Explorer Facebook pages. Electing eliciting condemnations from many but not all viewers. Now, this is just assholeism gone to extreme. I mean, you people in D.C., why don't you check yourselves into a mental hospital? These people were just having fun. They weren't bothering anybody. Why do you have to don't you sons of bitches have any work to do other than to go around and look at Facebook photos, go around and look uh, social media to see who's doing what and ticket them? What the living hell are you people paid for? I don't even know how... Somebody must have ratted them out. It's the only thing I can think of. To me, it smacks of a setup. These... Uh, the, these mentally ill, whack job nutcases in D.C. Probably one of the hikers was a member of the D.C. Some kind of a narc, at least. And my thinking is they turned these people in. Because how, how else does D.C. really have time to go around the Internet and look at Facebook pages just to uh, see what, who's doing what, and then give them tickets? No. I'm thinking, to me, this looks like somebody uh, did something intentionally. Somebody is in the group and ratted them out. Said, look, Here's the Facebook page, here's proof. That's what I'm thinking. I could be a lot I could be wrong, but how are, how else would somebody find out about this? You go through millions of Facebook pages to see who's doing what? I don't. I don't have time for it. So I think this guy got ratted out by somebody this is, like I said, this is just pure assholeism. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. You DC people, if you think this is appropriate, this guy should have been ticketed. Please check yourself in to a mental hospital for the criminally insane. Because as far as I'm concerned, you are criminally insane. You're attacking somebody, they're minding their own business. Not everybody was even in that group. Can't Americans just be Americans? We're supposed to have this thing called freedom. And you people at D.C., you hate freedom. You hate representative government, many of you. And don't deny it. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. Uh carried to the extreme 
Wherever somebody in here set this guy up, I'm thinking. Now what's he gonna think? See, he's obviously an immigrant, probably from uh, India. Um, what's he gonna think about America when he gets set up like this? I might go on his Facebook page and explain this to him if it's still there. Raja Bhatt of Queens. These people are just having fun. This is ridiculous. Like I said, you people in DEC, please, if you're the one who ticketed him, please check yourself in to a mental hospital for the criminally insane. As far as I'm concerned, you're goddamn nuts. And I'm not taking that back. This is ridiculous. Not not only uh, but Yahtzee, an acquaintance of Bot, said he has been unfairly targeted by DC. He wasn't the mastermind to fall because he took the pictures. Said two. The party did not disturb other hikers. They are minding their own business. This is supposed to be America. These people hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate everything about this country. They're no different than Obama as far as I'm concerned. Sorry for all the negative negativity, but I'm hot. Alright? This is ridiculous. It's absurd. I got something else to say. Neil Woodworth, executive director of Adirondack Mountain Club, also criticized the celebration. I am appalled the idea of a keg party on Summit of Phelps. He said, in my opinion, this kind of behavior is certainly inconsistent with the character and respect for the mountains that I expect from 46er. What do you want him to do? I'm not a drinker, but what do you want him to do? Are they supposed to stand up there and hold some religious ceremony or something? Bot faces a possible fine of up to $250 and 15 days in jail. He was scheduled to appear in North Elba Town Court to answer the charge. This should be dismissed and he should get an apology. This is absurd. I'm Mark Faxmores. Thanks for watching. This is the mental disorder of liberalism on parade. People in DC, check yourselves into a mental hospital. Thank you and have a nice day.